Hi, Louis. What's new for MeteorNet IP? Yeah, well, we have two novelty here at the NAB. We're introducing a new version of JPEG Access. We're also introducing HDR conversion. Before I explain what we do, um, I wanted to give you a, a little words on the application. In the standard production, what they do, they will have to deal with SDR and HDR signals in the, in the, in the production. Not only they have that, but they need to produce in both HDR format and SDR because the consumer at the other end will, uh, will use uh, either one or the other format. So in that case, there's a lot of co conversion going on in the process. Uh, either you need to convert from SDR from your camera back to HDR for up conversion, but also down conversion for the monitoring and for the uh, SDR signal. So a lot of potential there for um, our product. And the way we, we do the conversion is through the use of the uh, Mu1B uh, product. So it's an IP to IP converter. And uh, in the process, we, uh, we receive the signal in YCBCR, convert it to RGB with a high performance uh, color space conversion, and then apply a uh, lookup table that can be provided by the, the customer, or they can use the uh, already uploaded uh, lookup table from the BBC and um, NBC. And then the process is executed and we, uh, we, we get a, an IP uh, output with the color transformation uh, at the other end. So what you also mentioned earlier was the JPEG Access app. So what does it do? Yeah, so, so this is our uh, JPEG Access uh, process. So it can be, it's an application that can be installed on the Fusion 3B, Fusion 6B, or even on the Mu1 uh, SFP. So what we've done recently, we've just uh, Im improved the application to have the interoperability supported. So with the latest uh, specification of uh, TRO8, that's available now. So one of the benefits of JPEG Exist is light compression and uh, visually lossless uh, performance all the way up to 12 to one compression ratio. So very useful and, and a big trend in the market. People loves it. There's actually a third app you want to show. Yeah, th this is uh, maybe underestimated, but this is our gateway solution, very popular, especially this uh, application where we can use a Fusion 6 to, uh, to interconnect a, a point of view camera. So now here, not only that we're getting the SDI signal from the camera, but we can provide a, a black burst that's derived from PTP. So very practical to have all cameras synchronized together, but also more importantly, so we can bridge the control through one fiber, the same fiber actually, back to the device here and connect the camera so we can, the operator can remotely control the camera pan, zoom and tilt. All right, thanks for the valuable info. It was a pleasure.